Right, good evening. It is Tuesday evening. Tomorrow's cheese day. <laughs> Lovely. Right, it's, oh, I've got a surprise for you. Da, da, da. I'm gonna have my mince pies. <laughs> I finished the apple pies the other night, so we're on mince pies now. Oh, one of my subscribers said, I haven't seen you doing your apple pies lately. As I said, I'll do one for tonight for you, but obviously it's um, it's not apple pies now, it's mince pies. So yes, we've got, to, I've, I had two last night, and I've got uh, another two nights, tonight and tomorrow night, and then we'll be back on the apple pies. So yeah, it's been a really good day. Let me twist the camera a little bit more for you guys. Right, I've just had a shower, and my boys have had a shower as well. Uh, one of them was a bit pongy, I think he'd either got piddled on or he'd rolled in something, so I, I'll, instead of just doing the one, I thought I'd do them both, uh, so they're nice and s nice, sweet smelling dogs, or they'd be fluffy in the morning anyway. So they've just come in, they've been running around in the garden like a couple of little sheep. That's one, hang on, got another one to go yet. So yeah, really good, a fantastic day. I've had a really good day today. Um, I was at Cambridge, weather was awful, <laughs> absolutely awful. Um, I got up this morning and I could hear the rain dripping in the, on the gutter. So I knew it was raining before I even looked out the window. Um, I went out with the boys and it was, it was very fine drizzle. It, it was one of those that, if you're out in it long enough, you get saturated, but I had my waterproofs on. I didn't take the brolly this morning. I thought I'd be all right with the waterproofs. That worked fine. The dogs got soaked, but I dried them when I got home. And uh, yes, yeah, so it didn't get off to a very good start, but no sooner we got home and the heavens opened up. So we timed that absolutely perfectly. So that was from, I get up at four o'clock and by the time I've done the walk and get back, it's just gone five. So yeah, we t perfect bit of time. It's pitch black though, absolutely pitch black. Right, I'll just give the dogs their, um, their crust. Right, stay, stay, stay. Yes, good boys. Right, the boys are happy. They've got their crusts. So that got off to a bit of a wet start, but that didn't matter because it was a work day today. So I drove to work, it was, it was raining on the way to work, enough to keep the wipers going on a, an intermittent, not full chat, just intermittent wipe every now and again. And that sorted that out. Um, Got to work and all the, because it's an electric van, I have to charge it up every other day. I have to charge it up. Uh, so I pulled into the yard to put it on charge and all the charging bays were full. So I had to go and find the keys to one of the cars that was parked in the charging bay, move it so I could charge the van. So I sat in the van, it started to rain again, but then it stopped. I came in, I was loading on some of my videos this morning as well. And I was doing what I said I'd do yesterday where I was, I've downloaded a load of videos from September last year and I'm putting them on this week for you so you've got something to watch while I'm at work um, so I'm trickling <laughs> trying to trickle feed you some videos as the day goes so uh, I've loaded some while I sat in the van while it was on charge this morning then I, I came into the workshop and started work um, the heavens absolutely opened up later on that day it threw it down. I mean torrential, absolute torrential. Everybody who was out in the yard ran into the workshop because it was really heavy. Uh, it was one of those real short, sharp bursts, but everybody had to scurry for cover. Uh, so I was inside, so that was fine. Uh, I drove home and it, was, it wasn't raining when I drove home. The roads were very wet, lots of big puddles everywhere, but it stopped raining. So the drive home was good and I got out of Cambridge pretty pretty well compared to yesterday. Yesterday the A14 was shut and it was bedlam. Uh, today was a lot better. So I got home about half past five, quarter to six times, so fairly normal for me. Um, something happened when I got home and it was really, really nice. I came up my road and where I usually park, there was a car parked in that bay, in that area. So I tried to park behind it, but there was, wasn't enough room. So I backed up the road a little bit and parked my van just a little bit further up the road. But while I was doing all that, my next door neighbour but one, one further down, uh, they came right past me, turned around at the top of the road, and they come down and park outside their house. And so I got out of my van, locked my van up, and I walked down the road towards my house as they were getting out of their car. And it was a husband and wife, I won't say their names, but it was a husband and wife couple. And as I walked down the road towards my house, they were walking out of their car onto the path. And the lady 
turned around and she walked up the road towards me and she put her arms out and she goes, April. <laughs> I went, ah. <laughs> she said, I follow you on YouTube. She said, I think you're fantastic. And I thought, oh, fantastic. <laughs> and so her husband came up as well and I shook his hand. I, I've seen them about, but I've never actually spoken to them before. And that was so, so nice of her. So I know she's going to be watching this. <laughs> So thank you, that was really, really nice. That meant a lot, it meant a huge amount. So that was lovely, I was chuckling away after that because that is so nice when people do that. And that's the second time that's happened now where somebody's actually come up to me and called me by my name, called me by April. And that is so nice when that happens. Um, so yes, so thank you very, very much for that. That was really, really appreciated. <laughs> so other than that, it's feed the dogs, fed myself, I've showered the dog, showered myself, come downstairs, mince pie time, and time was it's quarter past eight now. <laughs> it's dark, or it's getting dark outside now. It is dark outside now. So yes, it was really, really good. There is something else that happened at work, but I'll tell you tonight when I do the, the shout out later on. I have got a couple of shout outs to do, but if there's any more, if anybody watches this video and has got a shout out for me, let me know before I do the, sh do the one at 10 o'clock and I will put that onto my list, but I've got two written down already, so if there's any more, let me know now. Uh, right, that's it, so can I um, get these underway? Let's put these back. <laughs> right, so that goes in there. Here we go, I'm getting through my custard, this one will be empty again tonight. I've actually put my wheelie bin out tonight. I've got a, a, a blue wheelie bin, which is for your recyclables, and I've got a grey bin, which is your general waste. Uh, whoops. I haven't got a garden one. I might get a garden one, I'm not sure yet, but because my garden is such a mess at the moment, I haven't really worried about it. But I'll possibly do that next year because I want to sort out all my fencing first, and then I'm going to sort about, set about sorting the garden out. And that's probably when I'm going to need a, a brown garden bin. But I won't do that this year, I don't think. I think I'll start that one next year. Uh, so. Yeah, I actually put my blue bin out. It's taken me probably, got to be at least a month, if not a month and a half, before I've actually filled it up, because I just don't create that, that amount of um, waste. There you go, guys. It's just me and the boys, and that's it. So, yes, I very rarely put my bins out. Right, that's that bit done. Right, if I just nuke this for a second. Right, that's on. I'm gonna get my spoon, guys. Let's just pop this in the recycle. And spoon. And we are done. I've done my sandwiches for tomorrow, and you know what I've made, don't you? Yeah, I've got my cheese sandwiches already. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a really good day. Really good day. Uh, they don't forecast very good weather this week. I think we're supposed to be wet tomorrow. Um, I've still got some jeans to wash. I was going to do the jeans the other day, but I looked at the weather forecast and it said it was going to be wet. And I thought, well, then there's no point. And so, again, today it was going to be wet, so I didn't put them in today. And tomorrow's supposed to be wet. So I will get them done, but I want to get them done before the weekend because I've got my embroidered jeans there and I want those for the weekend, especially if the weather's not going to be nice. Uh, but I think... Fingers crossed at the moment, they're saying that we should have a good weekend. The Saturday and the Sunday should be good. So keep your fingers crossed for that one. Uh, you all know I'm going to get my, my topper sorted out on Saturday. I've got an appointment at uh, 10 o'clock uh, in Long Melford to have my, my new topper trimmed to fit. So I'm looking forward to that. And then on the Sunday, I'm going to take my mum and dad over to see my mum's sister, my auntie and uncle. And... Uh, their daughter and their daughter's partner because their daughter and partner are going to get married next year So this will be the first time I'll have seen them since they announced what's, what's going on. So yeah I'm looking forward to this. So it's going to be a busy weekend again. You know what my weekends are like. They fly um, But yes, yeah, I've got plans for this weekend. So it's going to be great That'll do <laughs> uh, Whoops Reset it. I need a new microwave <laughs> This is a second hand one I bought, and the, the start the, the um, start button doesn't always work. You have to keep pushing it and eventually it will start. So I think I'll treat myself to another one. It, it, I think it cost me 
30 or 40 pounds. I got it from Cole, uh, I got it from Ipswich. I'm trying to think where I got that one from. That's from Ipswich. That was one of my gum tree purchases. And that's done well. <laughs> Something as cheap as that. And it was a nice microwave, but uh, it started to muck about. Started to muck about for a couple of weeks now, so I think I'll move it on. Right. If I put the radio on for the boys, if they stay in the back here, they'll be able to listen to the music, if it's music, and we can go and sit down in the front room. Oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, let's go and sit down. Right, I've got my, got my mince pies, guys. Oh, I had the table all ready for you. There you go. So, right. I'm going to eat these in a second, so that's what I'd like you to do if you can. If there's anybody who wants a shout out, send a message now. I'm going to load this now, so send a message as soon as you see this if you want a shout out, and I'll do that at 10 o'clock when I'm doing the washing up. And then um, I'll tell you about what else happened today, which was at work. Uh, so, yeah. Right, I'm going to sign out, guys, and I shall upload this, and I shall speak to you guys later. Bye-bye.